his back for being so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right? You have to be really precise in your wording of the Buddha nature. Pyramid. Cone. Cone. Cup. Table. Yeah. Or the surface. Mm. All right, so here are the things, that, right, the things that can matter, Karan. right? Yep. The color of the pyramids. Yep. The number of pips on the side of the pyramid, which is big. the same as their size. Three, two, one. Big, medium, small. Oh, no, that's a medium. That's a small. A large pyramid. A medium pyramid. A small pyramid. The largest pyramid in this cone. Yeah. The largest pyramid. The largest yeah. pyramid. Yeah. The smallest pyramid. The smallest pyramid. Yeah. The large pyramid. The yellow pyramid, a yellow pyramid. And the large pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously the green pyramid, right? Other things that can matter, right? Uh, grounded, ungrounded pyramid. This is ungrounded. Uh, Some people play with enclosed, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that, it's either, right? Uh, so this is, this is, these are all grounded pyramids. Touching, not touching, right? But this is no different than this. Right. You cannot, you cannot base it on your orientation relative to where you are Flat. Sitting. Pointing. Pointing. Pointing at both of these pyramids in the same right. in terms of In right. terms of pointing, there is a laser that comes out of the top of this in a, that is directly straight, and it penetrates everything in the entire universe for infinity. Mm -hmm. So this yellow pyramid is pointing at both of these pyramids, because the laser hits the surface and goes straight for infinity. It's pointing at a yellow pyramid right now. Now yes. that's infinity within the scope within of the that cone. one cone. Yeah. Within the cone of each, each cone. cone other yeah. cones. Each cone is in its own universe. Nothing relates at all. So pointing at Judith doesn't matter. Right, this is the same as this. That's a bullshit Buddha nature. Yes, okay. no, no context. That yeah. There is a surface for each cone that is without center or bound. Yes. What other things matter? Touching, not touching, touching pointing, not touching. grounded, not grounded. Did you get oh, weird? This yellow yep. one that's inside is pointing at the green one. Yes. Because there's a laser emitting of it straight through the... And right. they are touching, but enclosed or not enclosed, we don't use. We don't care about that. Uh, but we might still as, do this, As Natalie pointed out, weird. Anything that is not flat or upright is weird, no matter what angle it's at. That's weird. That's weird. The yellow one's weird. So this and is the touching. same as... Slot leaning at a different angle. However, is, if you pull it off, this is different from that because this is also pointing at that one and this is not pointing at that one if you somehow make that happen. Right. <laughs> uh, fuck that. Two yeah, pyramids, three pyramids, four <laughs> pyramids. Okay, that. so this is actually different from this because they're touching. But this is not any different from this mm. or this. Or that. Or that. Those are all identical cones. Right? Alright. You have to be really precise in your wording of what is or is not the Buddha nature. There is right. a, if I'm you going... are unsure, you ask the master, is that pyramid touching that pyramid? Like, mm -hmm. you think it's not precise. You may ask the right. master to, they, can, they will answer any question about the cone that does not pertain to the Buddha nature itself. Okay. Uh, also, if you believe that a, a, pure, a cone has been touched and disrupted in any way, you say, Kasu. And you point at it, and then the master must ensure that it is still correct. Okay. Whoever guesses the Buddha nature, which is going to be Natalie, is the winner, and then we erase it. So, so we didn't show students. Oh, students. So when it, when so basically, you know, you make your cone on your turn, right? And then you want to know if it's right, uh, good or bad. So if you say master, I just tell you, yeah. and then you can but use I guessing say, stones or anything. I might say students. If so you say students, then I make my cone. So that, that's that's the cone. That's fine. And then we all together choose yes or no. Then we reveal simultaneously. And then every one of us who's correct, Scott gives a guessing stone. So, uh, guessing stone, and this one is none. So that's the only way for more guessing stones than yes. this system. If you have more than one of these, you can use as many as you like on your turn. You can be like, guess, 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 right, guess. Basically, a, you can a guess either A wins you the game because you guess correctly. If I basically even if you come up with a rule, if your rule is logically identical to the rule that I thought of, yep. if I cannot produce a counterexample, yep. then it's the same rule, effectively. Yep. So you win. Alright? Um, yeah. But you can use a guessing stone basically to force me to create cones for you. Mm -hmm. Right? Like if you have extra guessing stones, yeah. right? You're basically using them to force me to make right. counterexamples. That's the best part of the game. Right. Okay, so a simple one would be like 
cone contains at least one yellow pyramid. Yep. A level nine cone example that we always like to trot out is a cone contains the Buddha nature if it has a prime number of pips in its collected pyramids. Is that an, that so that is allowed? Yeah. Anything's allowed. Okay. Uh, but only among the parameters we've described. Yes. So we'll start with like a slightly harder. Master, than... what level is this cone? I don't know. <laughs> There's no level. official level. There are actually. Yeah. So here's an example. Like a level three cone might include and, mm -hmm. like this and this. A level four might include like or, like a green pyramid or a small pyramid. Mm -hmm. A level six might include like XOR or XNOR or like complex. Uh. This pyramid is nice. blue XNOR green. Oh, that's my really hard one. It's not going to make a really easy one to start off what, with. What, blue X normal? I, I just came up with such a good one for the next one. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be what so do you good. Mean X? You know, oh, you guys don't know logic? Exclusive. Not at all. Yeah. Okay, so, and. Say so I have two bits. One that can be one or zero. So, this and this. Is true. Is true, because they both have to be true. False. This, false. Yes, false, 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 false true. So this or this, false. True, 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 true. 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 Yep, false. Uh, X or, false. False, true, true. Mm -hmm. Exclusive or, one or the other, not both. Mm -hmm. uh, X nor. It's the exact okay. opposite so of you X flip that. It's the exact <laughs> opposite of X or. So it's true, true, false, false, true. Which is... That's. <laughs> if you do that, I'm not going to get it. Yup, nope. <laughs> so, you can. Uh, fun fact. This is the kind of thing that I can Nand get when I'm doing and. it slowly on the SAT tutoring. <laughs> but when you're talking like that, it's a little harder to follow because you just. This is how computers work. Yeah. Math class in high school. Fun uh, fact no. you can make all those gates just with combinations of NAND gates, not AND. So, true, true, That's true. What Josh was going false. on about NAND. NAND. NAND is the exact opposite of NAND. When I was a kid, NAND. you could buy a little circuit that was just 20 NAND gates. Do you know how fucking powerful that was for a little kid with a bunch of resistors? Alright, let's start off with the easy one. Maybe we might have even done this one. I used all that power to even make a device that went wee 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 until you unplugged it. <laughs> and then I made a burglar alarm. Those sound like the same thing. <laughs> so the burglar alarm was going when you unplugged it. And when you plugged it back in, it stopped going. That's when I learned, that's when I like figured out logic. Yes. I'll go first because you guys are the noobs and if yep. you fail, Natalie's probably going to win. Yep. And then we'll make Natalie go we're first. We're going to do easy and then we're going to do hard, so this is easy mode. No pressure, baby. Alright. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. Okay, I'm just going to do the opposite of what I was thinking. I hope I can just one-shot stat. Awesome. Alright. That's easy mode, but right? it's not too brave to uh, something to brag about if you one shot it. Yep. Students. Mm. So now we collectively put forward blue if we don't think that's correct. Yes, if this does White, not have yeah. the nature. This has it, this doesn't. <laughs> you want to figure out if this has it or not. We all put forward our guess. Oh. Everyone gets a guessing stone. Except. I guess, guess poorly. Yeah. Uh, uh, pass me another so you can get some. This one's right here. Master. Actually, let's. You're gonna guess right away? A cone exhibits the Buddha nature if it has more than one pyramid. Get it now, Natalie's gonna win. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Cone exhibits the Buddha nature if there are an even number of pyramids. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 One shot. Alright, well. Now we're gonna get hard. <laughs> Nothing but net. Alright. 
All right, it was easy mode. Real, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but now do hard mode. Do hard mode now. Right. No, I'll keep pretty much. Oh my god, we're starting. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it pretty much. Make Natalie start in hard mode. All right. Natalie's a 